Alright, welcome back to Cactus Core, playing Psychonauts, episode 2. How's it going, Bobby? Pretty good. How you doing today, Commander? Oh, not so bad. Still a little too early for us at the moment. But, yeah. uh, so we uh, realized that the first episode had a lot of lag issues, and it looks like we've uh, sorted that out. Then again, we said that in the first episode, too, so just, you know, hit me up if uh, I'm wrong. But, uh, for now, we'll go ahead and continue from here. You're gonna have a lot of hit-ups, dude. You're always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, last time we left off, uh, in the middle of this, uh, court obstacle course in basic braiding, and we're gonna go ahead and help, uh, Dogen here through the minefield. Hey, Dogen. Gotta love Dogen. What's wrong? Dogen is pretty great. As I recall, you want to pet the kid. I want to pet him. <laughs> Very strange. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. Look, man, we all got our hobbies. Don't judge mine. You, you pet... Weird children? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, if you see a kid out on the street wearing a tinfoil hat, you're, you're gonna pet him. That's oh. how that goes. Are you? <laughs> well, I will. You probably won't. I'm gonna go ahead and just escort him through here first and not worry about the figments right away. I can't do it. Yes, you can. can. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Okay. You're, you're a very good escorter. They, they must pay you, what, a hundred bucks an hour? Yeah, man. I'm oh. a great escort. Nice. I love it. Hey, look, you made it through. I can't do it. What the I fuck? Can't do it. Yes, you can, Dogen. You're already Just out of it. Me. Okay. <laughs> you dumbass. All the way to Great Bay. I didn't explore it all. Good hustle out there. Hey. Um, this is for helping me out. Okay, bye. Nice girl. Aw, he like you. Yes. That's so sweet. As one should. Should? Yep. Well, that's a bit entitled. As one that I helped through a minefield should. Now see here, Figment. <laughs> there we go. Time to raise this dank ass flag. I need to get a flag with my face on it because, for real, that shit is cool. It'd be a pretty good battle flag, just a bunch of people running away from it. I mean, I could see that. Yeah. There's a reason why we don't put our faces on this thing. We're <laughs> We're, uh, we're not pretty. You will at some point get uh, caricatures of us. Those aren't ready yet, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm sure that you'll see what we look like eventually. Yeah. Wings going down, soldier! Hit that door and Geronimo! Hey, no one told me to pack a chute. Did Washington have a chute when he crossed the Delaware? Just jump, sissy! Those are two completely different things. Yes, we're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I love that kid. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll tell the whole story if we want to wait here for him. Of my dog, lady. lady and I used to go for long walks. They would go Some of these faces are so creepy looking. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it though. Yeah. Because um, and then I gave lady a bone. <laughs> because I think that it, the the graphics have aged well because they don't look they don't try to look human. Fair enough. It just looks kind of, you know, weird, but I think that it's okay. Hey, look! It's Raz! Yay! Raz the is fuck here! Are they? Yeah, uh, weird cheerleaders that are great. We can't do it. Now yeah, screw them. No good, oh, okay, and the fine. coach won't open the gate until someone wins. No, those kids are evil. Yay, Raz! Yeah, just okay. Punch that to start. I'm willing to accept that. Nobody's like, Nobody's like that in normal. Nobody's like that in normal, got it. No, screw you, kid. That's creepy. <laughs> Why does everybody in this game have Barney the Dinosaur teeth? Why don't they? I, that, okay, fair point. Probably because teeth aren't... She doesn't even have teeth. Teeth aren't a thing. I suppose. Is she a frog? Punch, punch, punch. Maybe. I like his reward. Your reward. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> See, normal kids just don't blow up like that. Well, that they do if normal. you're in, like, a coach's mindscape. Now, how often is that supposed to happen? Always. To hide. They store away their shame. Their dirty little secrets, these tiny vaults in their minds. The enemy has not allowed any secrets in wartime, are they, soldier? So go ahead and bust open this vault. 
I got nothing to hide. The secret's like the original concept design for Raz. Yeah. Very, very strange. Yeah. Like I can't remember if I already said this or not. How? Oh. Oh. Hey. Oleander's pride. Oopsie. He was every wartime hero ever. I like how tall he is in these flashbacks. <laughs> you enjoy that. One of my favorites. Man. I wonder if uh, in the second game, which is finally going to happen soon, uh, if we're going to get just a ton of tongue-in-cheek, inside-out references. That'd be great. I think that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this guy is, is great for if I need to go back in the level to a place I've already been, I can teleport through it. Or forward if I miss something and I don't want to play through the whole level again. I can just go to this guy and he can help me out. Nice. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, some of the original character designs, like uh, Raz was originally named D'Artagnan. And he was originally like blue and he had like this really, like the, the beanie kind of sock things. Like mm -hmm. a little sock hat thing. Uh, like Double D? Yeah! Pretty similar to that, okay. but much longer, like all the way down to his back. And uh, they apparently changed it because it was really hard to get the animation right and still have it moving around as much. Uh, he's somewhere, supposed to be somewhere still in the game, hiding in a toilet or something like that. Oh, well, maybe we can find him. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, yeah, I'm just grabbing the figments later. And saving the bunnies. I like Save. bunnies. Fun bunny. Fun bunny. I like these bunnies. They're really cool bunnies. Uh, Bobby has a bunny, and he is a bunny person. Yes, I like bunnies. My bunny's name is uh, Toki Wartooth, and he is badass. He is a badass bunny. Yeah. I, I think that you're going to need to provide a picture of Toki for this video. Yeah. Do it. Well, I... Yes. Alright, I'll, I'll get them all pretty. You might as well, because the only one that I have of him also has you in it, and I know that you don't want to have that. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> Man, that kid's everywhere. Fuck you, Zilch. You're just mad because his name is Bobby. I kind of am. Oh, man. All right. Yes, I just love this flag. <laughs> I want something similar to that. I don't think there's anything on the sides here. Let's just jump through the sphincter. Do you really have to call it that? Yes. But why? Look at the inside of this place, man. I mean, I suppose, but... Like, can you think of a better, you know, word for it? Um, it's, well, I wasn't really trying to think of a better word for sphincter. That's not how I went to I spend mean, my it, day. <laughs> it's like that thing that opens and closes at the end of Rogue One. It's just, it's a sphincter. I, okay, yeah, I suppose that's a fair point. And also a terrible thing, because that movie now, is terrible. Look here, you're allowed to be wrong on some things. I understand that. But Rogue One was a great movie. No. Yes, it was. Did I tell you that my brother-in-law sent me a text the other day apologizing? Because he said I had bad taste uh, before, and then like he watched Rogue One again. He's like, I think I was wrong. <laughs> well, he's wrong, too. I told I told my coworker Tim that, and he's like, oh, God, no. Don't do that. See, Tim has good taste. I'm <laughs> right. I know that Tim is one of our few uh, early adopters right, here, so boy. I'm not going to talk shit about you, Tim. And I'm just going to give you straight kudos. Thank you for having good taste. <laughs> um, the mental cobwebs I cannot get to yet. I need to get the uh, cobweb duster that I buy from the camp store. Okay. So I'm going to have to come back to all these places. I'm not going to show me going back to all everywhere unless it's like something that's going to be good to record. Uh, but mostly that's just kind of basically grinding and collecting. Oh, okay. Well, they have to include that a bit, you know, replay value and all that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm not planning on doing a completionist run on here. Um, respect to that guy, but I, I can't do that. Yeah. I mean, I have 100% of this game before, oh. but... And I'm getting caught up in talking and fucking up. So let's just go ahead and continue here. You really don't have to talk to fuck up, man. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I was also hoping to get this figment. Come on, man. I'm gonna fall again. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. Alright. I 100%ed this game, but I can't climb the ropes. Hey, man. 
Shut up. Or cables, or whatever the heck. I are. would like to see you do it. No, because this is your game. I'm playing the other one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, I know that uh, it's popular with the uh, audience types, our, um, us speaking the lines. So, we're going to have games like Psychonauts where we don't speak the lines, but we're trying to always have one like Mother 3 where we are. Right, and then hopefully, you, can see, you know, people can see if we get voice acting gigs. Yes. Most cadets can't handle it. You might just want to stay away from it. You still get a participation ribbon at the end of camp. He seems so angry at the idea of getting a participation ribbon. That yes. was great. He is rather angry. Because participation ribbons are shit. Alright, I'll have to come back uh, for that one. It's a tire swing. Yes. I dig it. Ba -ba -da -da -da. <laughs> Sorry for singing the background music. No, it's alright. You're a bit different and we appreciate it. That's probably true. Besides, we all do it when we think we're just alone and having fun. Yes. I remember as a kid growing up, I would be playing games, uh, Star Ocean The Second Story being the big one, mm -hmm. where my mom would either fall asleep or start humming along to the background music while she was doing whatever it is she wanted to do. Nice. You know, I'll be real with you, I don't know anything about Star Ocean. Um, I don't know too much about it. I remember The Second Story. It was a really fun game. It's you know, PlayStation 1, so it looks a bit dated now. Right. It, it was it was fun. It's RPG and stuff like that. I really liked it. Hmm. Leave in the comments if you want us to look into playing Star Ocean at some point. Or maybe not. Because, or maybe not. You know, those boss battles were hard as crap, and there's a lot to do in that game. Maybe we can make it like an award or something like that. Maybe. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. If we ever get, you know, popular enough to do a Patreon thing. Yeah. You know, in 10 years. <laughs> hey, kid, I think I see a silver dollar out there in that rail. Why don't you walk out there a bit and pick it up? A silver dollar? Oh boy. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place now. Ha, sucker. See you tomorrow. Live and learn. Hang in <laughs> on the edge <laughs> <to> tomorrow. <laughs> oh, man. Wah! Bad guys! Arr. Zombie Nazis. I'm not getting all of these. What's waiting more motivating? Smack Come on kid. and slam! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I don't want to know how he was just kind of standing there, either. Just on the rail. Bobby Zilch has more power than we thought. Yeah, he's he's secretly a Sith Lord. It'd be great. Oh, look at all the teeth. What is it with you and teeth today? Look, it's not my fault. <laughs> They have yeah, Barney the Dinosaur Teeth, and this thing is a whole bunch of shark teeth ro ro going around in a circle trying to chop you up. They're all just kind of Muppety, and I'm okay with that. Oh yeah, I'm not saying it's not a good design. It's still just Barney the Dinosaur Teeth. Yeah. There's nothing There's nothing wrong with Muppets. I want to be friends with Arlo, so don't fuck this up for me. You're one of the few people that got to hold Arlo. I did. I think, I think we discussed this in a future episode of Mother 3. I could be wrong about that, but... Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm going. To, I'm gonna again because he's coming to the con again in December. Oh, nice! It will be glorious. Fuck oh, yeah! More cobweb stuff. More riding the rails. More rail grinding. Hell yeah! Because you're a hobo. All right, so I think yes, yeah, just a cobweb. I don't think there's anything else down here. Ah. I think there's anything over there, but I'm going to double check just in case. And yeah, uh, I know that I, I missed some figments. I'll, I'll go through again later and get them all. Um, That's backwards and grinding kind of stuff. And yeah, it's, it's just kind of boring to watch. Alright, so let's go check what this is. Rosebud. Hold it right there, son! Just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh, 
Sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. Ooh, yeah! I've seen uh, people who have his backpack that have all the merit badges on it. Oh, nice. At cons, and I think that that's so cool. Do they have like the full hat and goggles and everything too? To I don't. I don't know that they were fully cosplaying. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. And girls. And yeah, definitely some girls. Way to make us look bad in it. We're in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, goggle How did Bobby sneak up on that What's kid? What's that hair, boy? <laughs> <laughs> you want a piece of me? Hey, Don't you Brainiac, love his green gums? Settle yes. down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No. Because Sasha 9 is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. <laughs> I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Look, he's just there. Ooh. Raz the Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. Right. Yes, that... Him hearing things is the weird part about this camp. Yeah, obviously. Now, if I were to just hold this, I could ask people about it, but I don't, I don't gotta do that. Because you've played it before? Because i played it before, I know where I'm going. <laughs> Apparently, in the pre-actually making the game, the concept stages, Yeah. Uh, Rasputin had uh, like bipolar disorder. Okay. And, and his like color and stuff would change depending on like the different psychic abilities that you unlock. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. Yeah, right? and then I'm and gonna I feel like the movie Inside 200. Out sort of okay. took that idea and ran and with then it. You guys hide. Everybody got it. It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. What? Luca, you're a genius. Come on, Dogen. Hold on. This reminds me of a story. It's about Cowdig. Hello? <laughs> Man, you guys are good. <laughs> Hiding calculus sounds like fun because I'm a nerd. What's up? Just, just you would say that. Yeah, I, I'm willing to admit that. Ah, classic. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and make our way into the uh, camp proper. Oh, look at you sounding all dignified. Oh, the camp proper. <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird thing. Everything in this game is a weird thing. No passing, but I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Kid, your neck is a stump. I thought of that before. <laughs> I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you got to pay the toll. One gotta hour pay the troll toll. Pay up. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? If you don't pay the toll, then we ain't get no rolls. How'd they get here? That's also true. Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground, and oh my gosh, Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. Perfect sense. Down. Okay, sure. <laughs> Let's just go with that. <laughs> I'm not pulling truffles out of Coach Oleander. You should. 
I like their identical walk animation. On sale now in the main <laughs> store. We have it. Whoa there, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Now get! <laughs> Uh, so a lot of the scavenger hunt stuff we can get now. Uh, a lot of it we can't get until we get more powers. Um, but you get you get some good rank ups for, with from it. See, you get four ranks for it. Okay, it's pretty cool. So where do I? So what's like the maximum hey, rank go? you can get in this game? What is it like a hundred and one or something like that? Oh, okay. I think so. Bear kid. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot learn forever. Dear. <laughs> like that guy. Yeah, he's pretty great. I love him. I, I like, too, that most of these kids have some, like, real development through the game, too. Like, character development. Oh, that's cool. So here's the camp store right here. Excuse me. I told you them burgers ain't ready. Uh, no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. There may be a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean 800? 800. Be rid of the Holy web. crap. You can uh, turn it's, them in for it's a lot, but right. if I get this thing... I can find hella arrowheads, so I just need to find 30 more on my own. Hella arrowheads? Hella arrowheads. Hella arrowheads. Hella arrowheads. Okay. For those of you that didn't know, we're obviously in Northern California. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's part of my regular speech. Don't don't judge me. I'm gonna judge you. Okay, no, fine. No, no, no. Look, we're putting this on YouTube. Everybody's gonna judge you. That's true. And that's okay. Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Because if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be rad. And completely insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. She Frankenstein's sorry, kid? Sorry, sorry, or Frankenstein bad. Monsters Not kid? No, bad. she starts too many fires. Well, let's just pick it up from the oh. where I do that thing. I like Frankenstein Monsters kid better. <laughs> okay. Or you, could, you could say Adam's kid, because that's what Frankenstein's monster later said he wanted to be called. You know, just fire bad. Be great. Uh, but yeah, if you didn't notice the uh, the little health pickups, the blue ones are blueberries because they're good for your mental health. And this, I love it. <laughs> this game is full of stuff like that, and it's it's great. Uh, so let's do a little bit of exploration. This is the the main part of the campground here with the uh, parking lot down there. Okay. Um, and the dining hall up there. If I head this way, uh, can you steal a car? No. What kind of camp is this? Do you steal cars at camp? That's what I did at my camp. Well, I guess I never really went to camp, so... Well, I did go to, to Alliance Redwoods when I was a kid, but this kid took all my money and then... Anyway, um... Bobby Zilch, that bastard. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> That's good. I like that he does that. He's gonna keep doing it too. <laughs> the growling you're hearing are, are psychic bears. There are a couple of them around. Psychic bears? Psychic bears, yep. Yeah. Not the bears that Mikhail is looking for. See, look, he's floating. Oh, nice. But I don't have to worry about him right now. For some reason, that just reminds me of the uh, battle bears from the Golden Compass. Golden Compass, yeah. Sir. Eager to please. Learn, oh, sir. girl. Yes, sir. Develop a skill. Yes, sir. To become part of a noble team. Yes, yes. To become. Yes. A janitor. <laughs> no. Doctor Yenitor. <laughs> I'm here to be a psychonaut. A Dad. psychonaut. Uh, the brainy jump jump goes on upstairs. But down here it's pushing brooms, not bending spoons. <laughs> That, that dude reminds me of so much of, like, the, uh, from Avatar The Last Airbender. Like, the Doc and... Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. And, and King Boomy, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, also King Boomy. Definitely. Then again, we've watched Avatar The Last Airbender enough that just about everything relates to it one way or another. If you guys have not watched that show, you need to fix that. 
Yeah, I don't care if you're like 80 or 8. Watch that show. Exactly. If you can deal with animation, that's your jam. And especially watch the Great Divide episode. I don't know how much I can do right now. So this is like the fast travel in the hub world. Um, that's pretty cool. But let's do this. Let's go to Ford's, I mean, my sanctuary. I'm kind of sequence breaking here though, because I'm not supposed to know about this yet. But okay. Oh well. I mean, it's still available to do the thing. Breaking continuity. Yeah. For shame on you, sir. Breaking bad. That's me. N no. Uh, we're moving to New Mexico ASAP. Also, no. Oh, okay. I've been there. I'm good without it. Hmm. You finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Fort Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. But I'm gonna. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. Totally a real it thing. Runs under yes. This whole valley makes this a very critical area for the psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. <laughs> What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. Sounds it good. It responds to psychic mm -hmm. waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Very nice. Okay. For sure, we're getting some backstory here. Secret identity is safe with me. Somehow being an adult and hearing these so, phrases said to a kid on down here. creates problems. Look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger age, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. Right. I better go. Good. Thanks. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. Cause that's not creepy. Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. <laughs> it's a bacon strip. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. That's how you know he's American. <laughs> do you have like, a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on, or I'll eat that right here. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so there's some stuff hidden around in here. I'm generally supposed to go see Sasha Nine first, but I figured since I could come in here first, I'll do that, and then we'll do Sasha Nine in the next episode. Sounds good. Since this takes a little bit less time. And it looks like we now, are right about the 30 minute show, mark. Yeah, so we'll, we'll quit in just a now second here. here. Alrighty. It's a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, Quick mansplaining. Now, <laughs> store, a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. 
you just suddenly the other side. Okay. Yeah. Guy, they're psychics. Along with one also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and it will be a bona fide side challenge market, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. Nice. Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. That's right. Yep. Basically. That is entirely what every camp kid wants to do. <laughs> exactly. So I don't have any extra cores right now. I got a bunch of little cards, but um, yeah, yeah. Jump, jump, jump. All right. So I think we're gonna go ahead and call it here in just a second. Uh, Bobby, who did you want to do a shout out to this time? Well, you know, I did mention you know Inside Out and all that stuff before, mm -hmm. and I really, really like that movie. If you it's haven't a great seen it, movie. Also, go watch it. But uh, I suppose the creators of that. So I'm gonna give a shout out to Pixar. Pixar, all right, right, good choice. Lots of good movies. Hopefully, we get more soon. I, I, I gotta tell you, Inside Out was the first Pixar movie that I saw and immediately wanted a sequel to. Like, obviously, I wanted a sequel to The Incredibles, but like, as I was leaving the theater, I'm like, I need more of this right now. Right. I love Inside Out. <laughs> what about you, Capunter? Who you want to give a shout uh, out? I'm to? gonna go ahead and do a shout out to uh, Richard Stephen Horvitz, who's the voice of Rasputin, also from. Um, Invader Zim, and he's Daggett, and Angry Beavers, and a bunch of stuff like that. Oh, very nice. Very um, nice. And I, I think that this is very similar to his real voice, uh, which makes him a pretty good voice actor, because it's just such a you know distinctive voice that it, it, it's pretty cool. But uh, all right, so I think that we're gonna go for today, and we'll catch you next time. We'll go to Sasha Nine Secret Lab. Sounds great. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.